a month after the Soviet Union took one of its biggest political and scientific blows with the launch of Earth's first artificial satellite in 1957, Moscow planned to be the first to send a living creature into space. Although they managed to make cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin the first human being in outer space four years later, he was not the first living creature to make the trip. Before the flight of Gagarin came the mongrel puppy Leica, whose journey to orbit took place exactly 60 years ago on Friday. Starting the space race with the U.S. AUU with an early triumph in October 1957, when the resounding Sputnik satellite began its orbit of Earth, the Kremlin wished to maintain momentum. While the small ball, covered with antennae, was little more than a sharpened beacon, designed to survive in Earth's orbit, its successor, the Sputnik 2, had to do all that and accommodate a living creature within it. The Soviet scientists had already taken the dogs into space, launching Tsigin and Dezikin in August 1951, and both came back alive. However, the pair flew suborbital, causing the repetition of Sputnik's flight in orbit with another canine to take on a new challenge altogether. Testing space travel capabilities was becoming common at the time, with the United States having already chosen to use monkey test subjects, while France subsequently sent a cat and China launched rats into space. Time was also pressing when Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev had set a November deadline for the launch of Sputnik 2. Eager to make the most of the advance of the first satellites in October, Khrushchev wanted the scientists to make sure that the state holiday of the, the Soviet Union will mark the Bolshevik Revolution. The Kremlin had another new achievement to celebrate, recalls the Russian newspaper Argumenti i Fakti. Sputnik 2 was considerably larger than its predecessor of 141 pounds, with a weight of almost half a ton 1,120 pounds. The interior space was also very narrow, and the engineers estimated that the only crew member of the spacecraft could not weigh more than 7 kilograms 15 pounds. About 10 dogs were selected by hand after meeting the size requirement, and Leica was among the three qualified and most suitable for the mission. Part of the training consisted in testing the willingness of the dogs to remain quiet in increasingly confined cages over the course of two weeks. 